China on Sunday ramped up measures to contain the coronavirus epidemic and shore up the economy against its effects, as the first death from the illness was reported outside the country. A 44-year-old Chinese man from Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, died in the Philippines on Saturday, the Department of Health said. Of course it's frightening. It really is frightening because the virus will spread. The Philippines has expanded its travel ban to include all foreigners coming from China. And Beijing is facing mounting isolation as other countries introduce similar travel restrictions. Airlines suspend flights and governments evacuate their citizens. That risks worsening a slowdown in the world's second largest economy. China's central bank said it will inject $173.8 billion worth of liquidity into the markets on Monday as the country prepares to reopen its stock markets following an extended Lunar New Year holiday. As of Sunday, there have been more than 300 coronavirus deaths in China and the city of Wuhan has been effectively quarantined, with roads sealed off and public transport shut down. State media said one of two new hospitals in Wuhan dedicated to coronavirus patients was completed on Sunday. More than 100 Germans and family members landed in Frankfurt on Saturday after being evacuated from Wuhan, and around 250 Indonesians were evacuated from Hubei province. Japan and Russia will start moving their nationals out later in the week. Cases have been reported in more than two dozen countries, including the United States, Japan, Australia and Britain. Meanwhile, doctors in Thailand say they have seen success in treating severe cases of coronavirus using a combination of medications for flu and HIV. They said the approach had shown a vast improvement in the conditions of several patients in their care after 48 hours.